You're watching Good Day New York. From the most powerful name in local news, Fox 5 News. And it's the food that helps players stay on top of their game. Good Day Cafe will be live at the U.S. Open this morning to show us how you can make it at home. Stay tuned. And the Good Day Cafe is with the chef who cooks for tennis pros like Roger Federer and uh, the Serena, Willi uh, Serena Williams and her sister. Venus. What's her name? Venus. Thank you. Uh, those girls, they eat the best stuff, and the U.S. Open uh, has got the best food this time of year, so we'll uh, check it out. I can't play <laughs> tennis with my left or my right hand, but fortunately, a lot of folks can, and they're out there at the U.S. Open and in today's Good Day Cafe. And Craig is cooking up something delicious. Yeah, she's uh, cooking up a dish that one of these tennis stars really loves. Hi there, Ann. Hey, good morning, Greg and Jody. Yeah, you guys know the U.S. Open has some great serves. And it is here that they serve up food that is as impressive as the tennis. The food is known as high-end, some of the highest end in sports, right. thanks to executive chef Michael Lockhart. Right. Okay, no pressure. You've got celebrities here, but you also have to feed the players. And you have to feed them in their VIP lounge. So what's something that... Is this what you typically see? This, well, this is, this is one of the this is one of the things. This is a pasta salad, but we have made-to-order pastas there, so they can kind of pick and choose what they like because everybody has their own kind of dietary uh, needs. But this one is more flavored um, Italian it. style with prosciutto and mozzarella. Oh, and olives Artichokes. and peppers, and of course, lots and lots of fruits. But yep. you guys, you know, when you have a hottie like Nadal, he likes to cool down with a smoothie. So the players really walk around drinking these things. Yeah, but they, there's, it's set up in a bar; they can make their own. Well, one of the things that they really have to focus on, not only carbo loading, but also lean protein. That's right. And so you have an example of something that you cook for them. Yeah, we have a, we're going to do a seared tuna with um, local vegetable couscous. Okay, so to start the seared tuna, mm -hmm. just basically you pick out a nice red piece. Right. And then how long do you have to sear it on either side? It, that we would ask, I mean, I like mine medium rare. Um, if I'm going to do it on a salad, I'll do it rare. It just depends. This one, I just sear both sides. So it's almost done. Yeah. Just yep. a couple minutes on either side? Right. This one, these are already seasoned. You just do a little oil. And then okay. it's gonna, so you yep. just seasoned it with salt and pepper. Yep. That's so easy, I think I could even do it. Like, I think you you won't find me in the kitchen <laughs> very often, but and then on the side some couscous. Now you're saying if you can't cook, couscous is the couscous way to go. Couscous is the yeah, that's the easy out. Couscous you just pretty pretty much need to boil water, equal parts. Add the couscous, wrap it, take it off the fire, and it's done in five minutes. And so, so for this recipe, you put in? We put in um, Jersey tomatoes. Jersey tomatoes. Right. We love keeping tomatoes. it local. We have some patty pan squash. And so you want almost more vegetables than couscous? I, I like you know I like I like to keep the couscous as pretty much the binder and make the vegetables the star. Now I'm adding so, in asparagus, and you just lightly boiled the asparagus? Yes, we just uh, we call it blanched, so we, we put them in boiling water really quick. Okay. Just to kind of bring out the color and cook it the rest of the way. And then there's a yummy dressing, right? Yep. This is a honey curry vinaigrette. We'll put a little inside. If you can mix that up. Okay, I'll mix that up. How's our tuna doing over there? Are we. I'm gonna give it a flip. Okay, give give the tuna a flip. Season this up with a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna put it on the tray. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I mean, you guys know Anna Wintour and Vogue is a huge Roger Federer fan. So, can you imagine having to serve this up to Anna? And not only that, Oscar De Laurenta, you've already seen him here this week, yeah, right? Yeah, it was a sighting. There was a sighting. You guys, what's so cool about Michael, he is born and raised Long Island. You would come here as a kid. That's right. Would you walk around the food village then think, thinking, I, I can do better than that? Uh, no, I, I didn't even <laughs> know about all the, the, the possibilities we had here with the restaurants. I stayed in the food village most of the time. Lobster rolls, we have sausage, cheesecake. Look at cheesecake. this, you guys. Okay, so the food, even for the fans, would you look how delicious this lobster roll is, those huge, thick chunks of lobster, and even the Carnegie Deli here, which, mm -hmm. of course, is a great local tie. you got to have the hot dogs. But this is something that plan, fans and players both Fans like. and players, yeah. It's a turkey cob. So they... they tear through those things. Now we might hear people talk about the prices and when you have something like this you guys look at this. You can order this at the U.S. Open sent to your yeah, Jody. Maybe it's your sweet box up there in Arthur Ashe. Not mine, but uh, you have everything from caviar to champagne to the basic hot dog. That's right. There's a big range here. A big range to keep everybody happy. And Michael will be feeding as many as 700,000 people over this two-week period. Oh, my goodness. Got a little bit of help, too. <laughs> a little bit of pressure. Well, if you guys want to know how to make this seared tuna, you can get the recipe just going to myfoxny.com and click on the Good Day tab. Is it too early for oysters, guys? It's never too uh, early. 
By the way, Ann, I'm not in any luxury box. I still don't even have tickets yet. <laughs> Me neither, Jody. I know. Hey, tonight it's going to be great because we have Andy Roddick on the court and Lindsey Davenport. So, All American Night, it's a good night to be at the Open. Yeah, yeah. any night. You, you, you definitely are not at Chase Stadium right now. <laughs> you can't get can pretzels eat, and favorite. hot dogs and uh, beer. Sausage and peppers, I think, is $7.50. Uh, and it's delicious. It goes down in two bites. Mm -hmm.